Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers in the world of microservices. Our viewer asks, how to implement distributed transactions with Hystrix fallback based on Spring Cloud architecture. Let's set the stage. Our viewer is building a ticket sale platform using Spring Cloud, featuring Azul Proxy, Eureka Registry, and three services, user service, order service, and ticket service. The order service is responsible for processing ticket purchases, but it faces a challenge when it comes to handling failures in a distributed environment. The main process for buying tickets involves creating an order, processing payment, and updating ticket availability. However, if an error occurs during ticket movement after payment is completed, how can the system revert the user's payment and update the order status? This is where Hystrix fallback comes into play. Our viewer has proposed a solution using Hystrix commands and fallback methods, but they are unsure if it's the best approach. They highlight concerns about complexity and potential errors in the fallback process. So how can we implement distributed transactions effectively in this scenario? Let's explore the options. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. In this video, we'll explore how to implement distributed transactions using Hystrix fallback in a Spring Cloud architecture. Let's start by understanding the components involved in our ticket sale platform. The main process for buying tickets involves several steps. First, the order service accepts a request to create an order. Then, it creates an order entity with a pending status. Next, the order service calls the user service to process the payment and then calls the ticket service to update the user's tickets. Finally, it updates the order entity to finished status. To handle potential failures, we use Hystrix fallback methods. If an error occurs during ticket movement, we need to revert the user's payment and update the order status accordingly. In the fallback method, we check the order status and attempt to call fallback methods for payment and ticket movement. This ensures that we can trace failed orders effectively. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Implementing compensation logic in Hystrix fallback can be risky due to lack of persistence. This method lacks resiliency and doesn't protect against issues outside your code. For instance, if there's an outage after a payment is completed, you could lose both the order and the compensation logic, resulting in a paid order that isn't recorded in the database. A better solution involves using a message broker for event-driven delivery and implementing deduplication in processing to ensure exactly once service quality. And that's it. I hope it's helped find you to that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please just take a moment, go down, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it.
now until the next time i hope you have a good one cheers <laughs>